Yesterday I showed you how to replicate a new Android 14 feature that will flash your camera LED when you receive a new notification. This can be done on older devices and does not require you to have the latest version of Android installed. However, this upcoming update is also going to bring a screen flash notification feature as well. With it, you can specify a color to be displayed on the screen when there is a notification waiting for you. So today I want to show you how to replicate a similar version of this without having to update to Android 14. I'll be using an application called AOD Notify to demonstrate this, which can be found in the Google Play Store. It's free to download and you'll be given access to its basic features without having to unlock it with an in-app purchase. The app is from a developer named Jawomo, and I'll include a link to the apps in the video description below. I say apps because this developer has released a specific version of AOD Notify depending on which OEM makes your smartphone. For example, if you have a device from Samsung, then you'll want to download that version of the AOD Notify app. If you have a device from OnePlus or Google, then you'll find a specific version for them in the Google Play Store as well. And if your OEM isn't listed there, then it's recommended to install the catch-all version that should work for most other versions of Android. But if available, it's recommended that you install the version of AOD Notify that matches your OEM to ensure the best compatibility possible. So after the app has been installed, we can open it up and you're going to be greeted with this setup page where you need to grant certain permissions. So, so we can select which apps can activate the notification light. In this example, I'm only going to be selecting the push bullet app for this demonstration, but you can select multiple apps from this list. You then need to grant notification access. So after we tap that, we're going to be taken to a notification access page where we enable the toggle for AOD Notify. Depending on your device, you may be instructed to enable always on display and you get to set if you want it to always on display, not visible or only on notification or the show always option. Then we're going to select the draw on screen permission, which we then need to tap on install apps and then enable the always on display notify app for the draw on screen. With that done, you should get a check mark in all of these boxes and we're just going to tap on done. With the app set up, we can then begin to customize how AOD Notify works on your device. First, I recommend going to the notification light section and then configure these options. We can change the style to have the application light up the edge of your hole punch shown at the top, or we can have it set so that it will create a full screen outline of your display. And we can even make it so that only certain sides of the screen lights up. There is an LED dot option here as well, but this feature requires you to unlock it via an in-app purchase. You'll also notice that there are two sections here, one for configuring AOD Notify for whenever the screen is on, and the other to configure it for whenever the screen is off. Going back, 
We also have the ability to change the flashing effect that we see. By default, it's going to be set to pulse, but we can change this to rotate, or we can select the gravity option. There are many more effects here, but most of them require the app to be unlocked first. And don't forget to scroll all the way to the bottom of this page where we can configure the speed of the effect as well. We'll go back again. And the last main setting here is changing the dimensions. Depending on which effect you have set up, you're going to have different options here. So if you want the camera edge thickness to be a lot bigger, we can resize that here. For our screen edge thickness display or effects, we can change that, adjust the, the edge rounding so that it matches your screen better. And then we have some fine tuning options here. Going back to the main settings page, we can again configure which apps that this app will notify you about. And these are all features that offer more customization than what we're going to be seeing with the release of Android 14. So not only can we set this up to alert you of notifications from the apps themselves, but you can also set up battery alerts for when the phone is charging, when the battery is fully charged, or when the battery has dipped below 15%. We can choose to have the app ignore notifications when the phone is unlocked in case you don't want to see these flashing effects when you're actively using the phone. We can go back and from here we can change the color. Of the flashing effect. We can set specific colors to specific apps. We can set up specific colors for battery alerts. And we can assign a color to individual contacts. AOD Notify is a free application, but if you do find out that you enjoy the features, or if you end up using the application on a daily basis, then it's always best to help fund the developer's efforts. We can tap the coffee icon here, and you can unlock all of these features within the app for less than $5. Having app notifications brought to your attention can be critical for certain people, and the removal of the LED notification light has forced people to rely on the always on display feature or it has required them to constantly unlock the device just to check on the notifications. With AOD Notify there is a better way and it doesn't require you to have the phone face down in order to see the camera flash going off and blinding you while you're working. I highly recommend this app for people who need notifications brought to their attention quickly and really enjoy the level of customization features that it offers.